An elder student who's losing his sight is getting a gift from a good Samaritan. Doctors diagnosed Connor Lowmiller with a rare eye disease last summer. And when a local contractor heard about it, he swung into action. Local 12's Angela, Angela Ingram has the story that you will only see here on Local 12 News. Welcome to the Lowmiller's Pit. That's going to go on the home run wall. And we also got a, her son is an artist and he's doing a big panther, so that'll go against the wall too. Justin Kromsky and his crew are hard at work transforming a home in Bridgetown. Uh, we've done some work on the inside. Uh, we're replacing the patios, the sidewalks, the driveways, uh, doing landscaping, um, sliding door, deck. He's calling the project the first annual West Side Yard Crash and volunteering his time to the Low Miller family. You know, he needed a lot of stuff done around here, so we figured we'd step up and help make his yard look good. Justin got the idea for the home makeover last year. He heard his friend's son, Connor, is losing his vision. Connor has a rare eye condition called Stargardt's disease. He said, have you ever had anything done in your house yet? And I said, no. I said, Connor's an elder, you know, uh, got an almost three-year-old. I said, he got another one on the way. I said, you know, I really can't afford it. Since Connor was diagnosed last year, his family has organized fundraisers, including a baseball tournament. They've raised thousands of dollars for the Foundation for Fighting Blindness. My main goal is to uh, raise as much money as I can to find a cure for, for star guards and eye disease, not just for... ...to the house will make it easier for Connor to get around safely. As you notice, there's no sharp angles on here, there's no posts, there's no rocks, everything is very soft. Sunday, the Low Millers will finally see Justin's hard work. And for Justin, volunteering is just the way Westsiders stick together. It's okay to give back. I mean, you can't take it with you when you go. Uh, the rewards of giving, as long as it's not uh, any bad intent to it or malicious, it's rewarding. In Bridgetown, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. The home makeover reveal is Sunday at 5 at the family's home on Childs Avenue. Volunteers are still looking for a few more items to make the day complete. And we have a link on the, to the event page on our website at local12.com. Click on the red Get It button. That'll take you there. So many nice giving people in the Tri-State. Nice yeah, good, good news story. Yes.